This is what it takes for Stephanie Pezzamenti to survive. This is the dressings. The 38-year-old diagnosed with a host of chronic illnesses is bound to a central IV line because of digestive tract paralysis. Basically, my whole home has become a medical setup. Um, I have medical supplies, IV poles, and this all got all came about after my first C. diff infection. The digestive system is home to thousands of good bacteria, but there are cases where the bad, like Clostridioides difficile, commonly known as C. difficile, can take over. In 20 to 60 percent of C. difficile patients, like in Stephanie's case, the infection keeps coming back despite antibiotics. In about 5 percent of the time, uh, the, the infection can become very, very severe to the point where, yes, their, their bowel is so inflamed, it sort of starts to get distended. Gastroenterologist Dr. Dina Cow says the best option is a fecal microbial transplantation, or FMT, taking stool from a healthy donor and placing it in an infected patient, often via colonoscopy, to help restore good bacteria. But when the pandemic hit, those procedures were put on hold. Health Canada, as well as the FDA, they also issued a warning about sort of how COVID could potentially be transmitted through transplant. Screening has mitigated the risk, but a lack of donors and backlogs have set appointments way behind. Cow and her colleagues have joined a growing number of researchers working on new poop pills, freeze drying and encapsulating stool so patients can be treated at home. In London, Ontario, St. Joseph's Hospital became the first clinic in that province to offer the capsules. Okay. Okay. Stephanie says she can't even get in for a consult until the fall. I don't want to die. <laughs> um, and it's, uh, it's sad that we know that this could work and I can't access it. Stephanie's condition worsened over the weekend. She's back in hospital, a situation she's all too familiar with. She says she's suffering from a perforated bowel a rare life-threatening complication of C. difficile and one that will require urgent surgery. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.